I'll fix it here on the next project. We got an RV that we wanted to park in the yard and we didn't have a gate in the fence so we took the fence down. We need a gate to fit the RV in. We got a six foot fence, I mean a six foot gate, and so we have eight foot posts. That gives us two feet in the ground. And we had to dig down, and that was not easy. This is caliche and rocks. Really hard digging. But uh, we got it, and since it is a 10 foot gate, the two halves makes it together 10 feet. And so we're putting 10 feet exactly between the two posts. So what they say is, not center to center, but rather between the two posts. So I cut a piece of stick, a piece of wood that is 10 feet long, and we're gonna bump that up on the inside of these when we pour our concrete in to, to let us know when we have it exactly 10 feet. We also got one of these really handy post levels. And in fact, I'll put some of these things in the Amazon links at the bottom, but this is so handy to be able to clip it onto your post and tell when you're leveled two different ways. And I also put some strings across to help guide us, so it keeps us on track. We got the brand new gates that we're going to bolt on when we're done. We already put the RV in here. All right, so next morning we set the post last night notice up here at the uh, level it is perfectly level in both directions and by the way we mixed the concrete in this wheelbarrow we used some different kinds of uh, mixes here notice in the it always says setting posts, setting posts, set posts without mixing. Well, I like mixing, so I mixed it up in the wheelbarrow. Just and I, I also put tape over the end of the post, uh, so before I put them down in the concrete. Okay, while this is on high speed for a couple of minutes here, I wanted to explain that I'm actually, well actually I, I put this at 1,400 times uh, on the speed. So you can see that I actually took a long time to put this gate together. Now, I've never done this before. Like a lot of my projects, I'm no expert. I'm just learning as I go. I need it done. I figure out how to do it and do it, and then if that helps others, that's great. In this case, I found out something. When I went to Lowe's or Home Depot to buy these gates, uh, I didn't buy them there because there was nobody really an expert to give me the package of hardware that I needed. I ended up going to uh, American Fence Company, I think it was, one of those companies that actually just does this kind of fencing. And when they gave me the gates and asked me exactly what I was doing, they gave me the exact set of hardware that I will need. Then when I went to put it together like this, well, it was kind of a piece of cake because it's like putting a puzzle. You only have so many hinge pieces. You only have so many latch pieces and they have to fit here or there. And there's, there's a certain number of nuts and bolts and and it all just uh, fits like a puzzle and it really helped me to have that set of hardware with the gates that is just exactly what I needed. So that's my tip, uh, you know, go to somebody who can provide you that service of giving you exactly what you need so that when you put it together, if you've never done it before, it'll really help. 
this, we got the gates up and all working. Now we got the little sections at the end, and we're taking the old fencing that used to go across here, and we're cutting, we're gonna cut a little piece and put it in right here. And all it takes is this little uh, thingies here, hooking into the little, uh, little doodads there. And it's, there it is, all done. See the little rod thing going right down through, and it hooks into the end of the chain link. And voila, the last stage of the fence. The chain link part, we got in, we got the gates done. Now we're going to cover the, or put the wood back on the outside. So you can see the system that they used was to wire on 2x4s. And then they had the 2x4s to screw the boards to. So we're going to do the same thing. We've already started here. We got 2x4s and we wired them on with this uh, 14 gauge galvanized wire. I think it's better than what they used on the old, when they did it before. So we'll take a look on the outside. We're just gonna keep going with the old boards. Stick them on here, screw them to the two by fours. You can see we reinforced the two by fours with some flat metal plate. Makes it real easy. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this. You can see now the gates are working just fine. The RV can come and go. And uh, it all matches up to the old fencing. And uh, gee, I hope this uh, was helpful to somebody who wants to build one of these. Um, if this helped you at all, hit the like button if you would. And, well, I'll see you on the next uh, video. This is Al Fix-It. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.